yet another stock android based drama for the galaxy s6 and the s6 edge hey guys welcome back to tech love by chathan s noria and today we're going to review the as pay extended rom the ui is beautiful with pixel launcher that the rom comes with but the icons are a bit boring the rom comes with two launcher the pixel launcher and the google now launcher the google now launcher is very old so i prefer the pixel launcher which is much more beautiful you get this beautiful yet very subtle animation with the stock and ride that makes for a great experience and like i always recommend i have reduced down the animation skills which i think makes the rom feel even faster talking about the speed the rom is fairly fast even on n22 benchmark the device scores higher than the original software s6 edge with a score of 96500 so the performance must be great i played pubg on it and it stutters a little but it is playable on low settings the only time i feel pubg is stuttering is when i pan the camera the rom runs android 8.1 oreo which is the latest version and brings along many improvements coolest among them must be the ui changing colors according to the wallpaper you do have option to change a little bit on the home screen with the pixel launcher and it does support google now panel as well but google now panel can be disabled by holding down the home screen clicking on settings going into home screen and toggling the google now panel you also get a small pop up for controlling an app when you hold down the app icon similar to force touch into the app drawer you do not get google applications so you will have to install them separately i've already made a video about it and link to the video will be up in the cards for some reason if you install the google apps after you have been using the rom the google services keeps crashing so i recommend installing the google apps at the time of installing the rom link to the installation video will be once again up in the cards all the other apps are straight from stock android the rom comes with aex papers which provides you with wallpapers but they are covered with aex logo because of which they are not so good the rom also comes with two camera apps one is straight from the stock android which lacks functionality the other is a little better having some more features but some of these features does not actually work like bokeh mode it does not actually do anything special to your pictures you have retro music as your music player which has advantage of downloading album art automatically and shows beautiful notification in notification panel you also have via as your browser which is a very capable browser and gives you a lot of tools and options the rom also supports substratum without the additional samsung module so you can customize your rom a lot the rom has many features the rom also has always on display which consumes a little more battery than it should but the biggest problem with the always on display is it does not seem to move and it remains stationary which can lead to oled burn in another problem with the rom is that sometimes when you just press the home key to wake the device just the navigation button slide up and the device does not wake so it is best to use the power key the fingerprint sensor works in this rom which is great Moreover, the fingerprint sensor also works if the device is not awake, but only sometimes. There is no problem with the calling too, but I was not able to check for Volt E as I do not have a Geo SIM. Into the settings, you have nothing special, just same old stock Android settings, except for extensions, which provides you with a lot of customization for your ROM. If you are into it. It has status bar, notification panel, recents and the list goes on and on. I tested the Bluetooth and it does not seem to work. It just wouldn't receive any files. The battery life is not that impressive as well. And you may have to plug it in in the afternoon. So guys, I would say this is not the best stock Android ROM out right now. There are many ROMs that are better. I would suggest The Resurrection Remix ROM. Link to its review will be up in the cards. So guys, I think that's it. 
If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please subscribe to this channel and do follow me on Instagram as well. This is Chetanesh Nuria, signing off.